Have you ever wondered what mysteries lie beneath the ground we walk on? Today, we unearth tales of the ten largest and most mysterious tombs in history. Tombs, these ancient burial grounds, have been a cornerstone of civilization since time immemorial. They serve as the final resting place of the departed but they are also much more than that. Tombs are profound statements etched in stone and earth about the people who built them, the individuals interred within, and the societies they left behind. From the grandeur of the structures to the intricate details within, each tomb tells a unique story. Let's embark on a journey, a voyage through the annals of history, to ten of the largest and most mysterious tombs. These are not just tombs, they are silent witnesses to the grandeur, power and mystery of long-gone civilizations. Our first stop is the tomb of Lady Fu Hao, a testament to the power and influence of women in ancient Chinese society. Next, we visit the tomb of Marquis Yi of Zheng, where the music of ancient China echoes through the chambers. We then travel south to the tomb of Nanyue King Zhao Mo, a fusion of Chinese and southern indigenous cultures. From there we traverse to the tomb of Empress Wu Zetian, the only woman in Chinese history to rule as an emperor. We continue our journey with the tomb of Emperor Taizong of Tang, one of the greatest emperors in Chinese history, and then to the grandeur of the tomb of Zhao Mausoleum. From there we explore the Ding tomb, a mausoleum with a tragic tale. Then we step into a time capsule at the tomb of Ma Wangdui, a treasure trove of ancient Chinese life and culture. Our journey nears its end with the tomb of Emperor Jingdi, a testament to the wisdom of a benevolent ruler. And finally, the mausoleum of the first Qin Emperor, the tomb of the man who unified China. Join us as we journey back in time exploring the depths of these silent witnesses to history. Our first stop takes us to the tomb of a powerful woman, Lady Fu Hao. The story of Lady Fu Hao is one that echoes through the ages, a tale of power, intrigue, and the ancient civilization of the Shang Dynasty. As one of the earliest known female military generals in recorded history, her life was anything but ordinary. Lady Fu Hao was a wife to the Shang Dynasty's King Wu Ding, but she was also a warrior, a high priestess, and a politician. She held a unique position in the court, and led numerous military campaigns, a rarity for women of her time. Her life story is a testament to the sophistication of the Shang Dynasty civilization, and her tomb offers a fascinating glimpse into this bygone era. Discovered in the early 1970s near the city of Anyang in Henan province, the tomb of Lady Fu Hao is unique in many ways. It's one of the few Shang Dynasty tombs found intact with no signs of looting. This allowed archaeologists to uncover a wealth of artifacts and information about the Shang Dynasty's royal life. The tomb itself is relatively small, measuring just over 4 meters by 5. But don't let its size fool you. Inside, archaeologists found over 1,000 artifacts, objects of bronze, jade, bone and ivory, telling a story of a life lived amidst luxury and power. There were also weapons, indicating her military role and oracle bones, reflecting her religious duties. These artifacts not only shed light on Lady Fu Hao's life but also provide invaluable insights into the Shang Dynasty's rituals, social structure and technological prowess. They speak of a society that was highly developed and complex, with a sophisticated understanding of metallurgy, craftsmanship, and art. The tomb of Lady Fu Hao is a testament to a remarkable woman and an extraordinary civilization. It serves as a tangible link to our shared human past, and its discovery was a milestone in the understanding of China's ancient history. As one of the earliest tombs discovered intact, the tomb of Lady Fu Hao gives us a glimpse into ancient royal life. From a powerful woman, we move to a musical maestro, Marquis Yi of Zheng. His final resting place, discovered in the late 20th century, has become a remarkable testament to the profound appreciation of music and arts in ancient China. The tomb of Marquis Yi of Zheng, located in Hubei province, is a symphony frozen in time. Among the thousands of artifacts unearthed, the most extraordinary are the musical instruments. A grand set of 65 bronze bells, known as the Bianzong, took center stage. Each bell, a masterpiece of ancient metallurgy, produces two distinct tones when struck at the center or the side. This exquisite instrument reflects the sophistication of the music scene during the spring and autumn period in China, over two millennia ago. Another incredible find is the collection of stringed instruments, the Si, a 25-stringed zither, and the Guqin, a 7-stringed instrument, are both representatives of the refined tastes of the Chinese nobility. 
These instruments are a testament to the technical prowess and intricate craftsmanship of their time. Interestingly, the presence of these musical instruments in Marquis's tomb is more than just a display of wealth or a testament to his love for music. They also played a significant role in religious rites and rituals. The ancient Chinese believed that music was a way to harmonize heaven and earth, to bring balance and peace to the universe. These instruments were likely played during funerary rites, to ensure the Marquis's smooth journey to the afterlife. But the music from the tomb of Marquis Yi of Zheng doesn't just resonate with the sounds of bronze bells and stringed instruments, it sings a song of a society that valued harmony, both in music and in life. It tells us of a time when music was not merely entertainment, but a spiritual bridge between the earthly realm and the divine. The tomb of Marquis Yi of Zheng sings a song of ancient civilizations and their love for music. Our journey takes us south to the tomb of Nanyue King Zhao Mo. Nestled in the heart of Guangzhou, China, lies an ancient tomb that whispers tales of a time when the north and south of China were two distinct entities. This tomb, home to the remains of the Nanyue King Zhao Mo, is a unique blend of northern and southern Chinese cultures, reflecting the complex narrative of his rule. King Zhao Mo, reigning from 238 to 226 BC, was a king of the Nanyue Kingdom, a realm that straddled the boundaries of present-day Vietnam and China. His rule was a fascinating fusion of the Northern Han culture and the indigenous Southern Yue culture, a duality that is vividly reflected in the artifacts found in his tomb. Unearthed in 1983, the tomb revealed over a thousand burial objects including jadeware, bronze vessels, musical instruments and even a suit made entirely of jade pieces sewn together with gold thread. These artifacts, each bearing distinct elements of both Han and Yue cultures, speak volumes about the cultural integration that occurred under King Zhao Mo's rule. The jade suit, in particular, is a remarkable testament to the king's status and the intricate craftsmanship of the time. The jade, believed to preserve the body after death, was a Han tradition, while the gold thread was a hallmark of the Yue culture. This combination of cultural elements symbolizes the harmony between the two cultures that King Zhao Mo sought to cultivate during his reign. Yet the tomb is more than a collection of exquisite artifacts. It's a time capsule that offers us a glimpse into the political, economic, and cultural dynamics of a bygone era. It paints a picture of a king who straddled two worlds, navigating the complexities of cultural identity and diplomacy. King Zhao Mo's tomb, a testament to a time when cultures met and merged, creating a rich tapestry of history. The artifacts, the jade suit, the tomb itself, they all tell a story of a king who brought two worlds together, shaping the course of history in the process. Next, we delve into the tomb of the only female emperor in Chinese history, Empress Wu Zetian. A woman of many firsts, Wu Zetian rose from a concubine to the emperor's consort, and then to the throne itself, breaking centuries of tradition and defying the norms of her time. Wu Zetian's reign, which lasted from 684 to 705, marked a golden age in Chinese history. Her rule was characterized by significant military conquests, administrative reforms, and a flourishing of culture and scholarship. Yet, despite her accomplishments, her story is often overshadowed by the controversy surrounding her rise to power and her ruthless consolidation of it. The tomb of Wu Zetian, located at the Qianling Mausoleum, is as enigmatic as the Empress herself. Unlike other tombs of the Tang Dynasty, the tomb of Wu Zetian remains unopened to this day, preserving its secrets and adding to its mystery. Historians and archaeologists speculate about what might lie within, but the Chinese government has chosen to leave the tomb untouched. The exterior of the tomb is marked by a large, unadorned stele, a stark contrast to the elaborate inscriptions found on other royal tombs. The lack of inscription is a riddle in itself. Some suggest it's a testament to Wu Zetian's unique status as a female emperor, while others believe it symbolizes the controversy that surrounded her reign. Despite the mystery, the tomb of Wu Zetian is a significant historical site. It stands as a silent monument to a woman who defied societal norms to rule an empire, and to this day, intrigues historians and tourists alike with its secrets yet to be unveiled. As we continue our journey through the tombs of ancient China, each site reveals a unique piece of the country's rich and complex history. From the tomb of the only female emperor to the resting places of the greatest warriors and scholars, these tombs are silent witnesses to the grandeur of Chinese civilization. The tomb of Empress Wu Zetian, a silent monument to a woman who defied norms and ruled an empire. We now explore the tomb of a revered emperor, 
Emperor Taizong of Tang. Taizong's rule during the 7th century was marked by a period of prosperity and cultural growth, establishing the Tang dynasty as one of the most influential in Chinese history. His reign was characterized by successful military campaigns, efficient governance, and a flourishing of arts and culture. Venture with me into the heart of Shanxi province where the tomb of Emperor Taizong resides. Known as the Zhaoling Mausoleum, this monumental resting place is nestled amidst the lush greenery of Mount Juzong. The tomb, spanning a massive area, is a testament to the emperor's monumental influence and the high regard in which he was held. The Zhaoling Mausoleum is more than just a burial site, it's a symbol of the emperor's legacy. The tomb complex is adorned with stone carvings and statues, each telling a story of the emperor's rule. From the stone warriors standing guard to the stone horses and ostriches, every piece is a silent narrator of the emperor's reign and his interactions with various cultures. But what makes Emperor Taizong's tomb truly significant is its reflection of his philosophies. Unlike his predecessors who favored grandeur, Taizong desired a simpler tomb, a testament to his belief in modesty and frugality. This shift in burial practices had a profound impact on later Chinese tombs, steering away from extravagance to more subdued expressions of power and status. The Zhaoling Mausoleum also holds a unique place in Chinese history as it houses the Tablet of Zhaoling, a stele inscribed with a text written by Emperor Taizong himself. This text, known as the Sacred Edict, offers a glimpse into his thoughts on governance and morality, further cementing his impact on Chinese history. In the end, the tomb of Emperor Taizong is not merely a burial site, it's a monument that encapsulates his rule, his philosophies, and his legacy. It stands as a testament to a ruler whose influence still resonates in Chinese history, and whose tomb continues to captivate those who venture into its vast expanse. The tomb of Emperor Taizong, a testament to a ruler whose influence still resonates in Chinese history. Now, we venture into the grandeur of the Zhao Mausoleum. In the heart of China's Shanxi province, the Zhao Mausoleum stands as an awe-inspiring testament to the grandeur of the Tang Dynasty. This colossal mausoleum is the final resting place of Emperor Taizong, a ruler whose reign was marked by prosperity and cultural development. The mausoleum's architecture is a marvel in its own right. Its layout is a reflection of the Tang Dynasty's cosmological beliefs, with the main tomb situated at the foot of Mount Juzong, aligning perfectly with the cardinal points. The mausoleum is a city of the dead, complete with a spirit path lined with stone sculptures of horses, lions, and distinguished court officials, all standing guard over the emperor's eternal rest. But the Zhao Mausoleum is not just an architectural spectacle. It is a historical treasure trove, revealing much about one of China's most influential dynasties. The stone carvings and inscriptions provide a valuable insight into the courtly life, military prowess, and religious practices of the Tang Dynasty. The mausoleum also houses one of the most significant archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, the Zhaoling Liujun, a group of six stone horses that are considered masterpieces of Chinese stone carving. These exquisitely detailed sculptures are a testament to the artistic excellence of the Tang Dynasty, showcasing the empire's wealth and cultural sophistication. Yet much of the Zhao mausoleum remains a mystery. Despite centuries of exploration and study, the main tomb has never been opened, and its contents remain unknown. This lingering mystery adds an air of intrigue to the mausoleum, a silent whisper of the secrets that lie within its grand walls. The Zhao mausoleum is more than just a tomb, it is a symbol of a dynasty that left an indelible mark on the annals of history, a monument to a ruler who shaped the cultural and political landscape of China. The Zhao mausoleum, a majestic monument to a dynasty that shaped China. Next, we unravel the mystery of the Ding Tomb. The Ding Tomb, or Dingling, is one of the 13 Ming tombs, located on the southern slope of Tianshou Mountain in Beijing. It is the only Ming Dynasty tomb that has been officially excavated, a project that began in the late 1950s and lasted for several years. The tomb was built for Emperor Wanli, the 13th Emperor of the Ming Dynasty, and his two empresses, Empress Wang and Empress Dowager Xiaojing, who were buried alongside him. The Ding Tomb stands out for its unique construction. It was designed according to the traditional Chinese concept of feng shui, with an emphasis on harmony and balance. The tomb complex is divided into two main parts, the above-ground structures including the Soul Tower and the Stele Pavilion, and the underground palace which is the actual burial site. 
This underground palace, a substantial structure carved into the bedrock, comprises five halls and is covered by a stone slab roof weighing several tons. But it's not just the construction that makes the Ding tomb significant, it's also the historical treasures it contained. During the excavation over 3,000 cultural relics were discovered ranging from precious jade and gold artifacts to everyday items like wooden furniture and porcelain. These artifacts paint a vivid picture of the life and times of the Ming Dynasty. The Ding Tomb is also notable for what it tells us about the Ming Dynasty's burial customs. The presence of the two empresses, for instance, reflects the polygamous practices of the time. The tomb's hauntingly empty thrones, meanwhile, symbolize the concept of Shi, a belief in the continued rulership of the emperor in the afterlife. The Ding Tomb, then, is more than just a historical site. It's a time capsule, a window into a bygone era. It offers us a glimpse into the opulence of royal life, the cultural practices, and the architectural prowess of the Ming Dynasty. The Ding Tomb, a silent witness to the life and times of the Ming Dynasty. We now journey into a tomb that is a time capsule, the Tomb of Mawangdui. Situated in the heart of Changsha, China, the Tomb of Mawangdui is a remarkable relic of the Han Dynasty. This tomb is not simply a burial site but rather, it serves as a time capsule, preserving the essence of an era gone by. Dated back to the 2nd century BCE, the tomb houses an array of intriguing artifacts. From delicate silk manuscripts to well-preserved lacquerware, the tomb is a treasure trove of ancient Chinese culture and craftsmanship. Each artifact, be it the intricate musical instruments or the detailed miniature carvings, paints a vivid picture of life during the Han Dynasty. But perhaps the most captivating feature of the tomb of Ma Wangdui is its mummies. The tomb is the final resting place of Lady Dai, her husband, and their son. The mummification techniques used here were so advanced, it left the world in awe. Lady Dai, the best preserved of the three, provides us with a stunningly detailed snapshot of ancient practices. Her body, wrapped in 20 layers of silk, is an incredible testament to ancient Chinese embalming skills. Beyond the artifacts and mummies, the tomb of Mawangdui holds immense historical significance. It offers a unique insight into the beliefs, customs, and lifestyle of the Han Dynasty. The tomb's structure, with its intricate layout and design, reflects the societal hierarchy of the time. The rich assortment of goods buried alongside the deceased indicates the belief in an afterlife, one where the dead could continue to enjoy the luxuries of their earthly existence. Furthermore, the tomb's discovery in the mid-20th century spurred a renewed interest in the Han Dynasty, leading to extensive research and a deeper understanding of this pivotal period in Chinese history. The Tomb of Ma Wangdui, a time capsule that provides a window into ancient China. From its breathtaking artifacts to its well-preserved mummies, the tomb stands as a silent testament to the grandeur and sophistication of the Han Dynasty, forever preserving a slice of the past for future generations to marvel at. We now explore the tomb of a Han Emperor, Emperor Jingdi. His reign, spanning from 157 to 141 BCE, is often remembered as a time of prosperity and peace. Jingdi, born Liu Qi, was the fourth emperor of the Western Han Dynasty, known for his moderation and thriftiness, which greatly contrasted the extravagance exhibited by many of his contemporaries. Nestled near modern-day Xi'an, the tomb of Emperor Jingdi, also known as the Han Yangling Mausoleum, is a profound testament to his rule. This burial place is unique, not for its size or grandeur, but for the sheer number of miniature terracotta figures found within. These figures, unlike the life-sized warriors found in Emperor Qin Shi Huang's tomb, are only about a third of life-size, depicting a wide array of servants, animals, and soldiers. These figures offer us a glimpse into the daily life and social structure during the Han Dynasty. The presence of animals and farming tools among the figures suggests that Emperor Jing Di was a ruler who paid great attention to agriculture and the livelihood of his people. This tomb is also significant for its architectural prowess. Its complex layout, complete with an outer and inner city, reflects the urban planning of the time. The tomb, covered in a layer of thick white sand, was designed to mimic the world of the living, a common belief in ancient Chinese culture. The tomb of Emperor Jingdi holds great historical importance. It provides valuable insights into the Han Dynasty's socio-economic conditions, cultural beliefs, and technological advancements. Moreover, its discovery has fueled ongoing research and archaeological exploration, contributing to our understanding of China's rich history.
Emperor Jingdi's rule, embodied in his tomb is a reminder of a time when moderation and frugality were valued, and agriculture was considered the backbone of society. Today, the tomb stands as a silent testament to this era, a monument frozen in time, preserving the legacy of a ruler known for his humility and care for his people. The tomb of Emperor Jingdi, a silent testament to a time of prosperity and peace. Our final stop is the mausoleum of the first Qin Emperor, home to the famous Terracotta Army. This awe-inspiring site, located in the Shanxi province of China, is a testament to the grandeur and might of the first Emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang. Qin Shi Huang's reign, beginning in 221 BC, marked the start of the imperial era in China. He was a ruler of great ambition, credited with unifying the warring states into a single empire. His rule was marked by significant achievements in law, politics and culture, laying the groundwork for the China we know today. The Terracotta Army discovered in 1974 is an integral part of the mausoleum. This vast collection of life-size statues numbering in the thousands was crafted to accompany the emperor into the afterlife. Each soldier, horse and chariot is unique, showcasing the skilled craftsmanship of the Qin era. The mausoleum itself remains largely unexplored. Beneath a man-made mound it is said to contain a replica of the emperor's palace complete with rivers of mercury. However, due to concerns about preservation and the potential dangers of mercury, archaeologists have yet to fully uncover the secrets held within. The significance of the mausoleum extends beyond its role as a burial place. It represents the power and ambition of the first emperor. The terracotta army symbolizes his military might, while the mausoleum's grand scale reflects his vision for a unified China. It's also a testament to the technological and artistic prowess of the Qin dynasty, as evidenced by the detailed craftsmanship of the terracotta figures. In conclusion, the mausoleum of the first Qin emperor is not just a tomb, but a monumental artifact of Chinese history. It gives us a glimpse into the past, shedding light on the life and times of the first emperor and the empire he created. The mausoleum of the first Qin emperor, a symbol of power and ambition, and a fitting end to our journey. We've traveled through time, exploring the depths of history through these ten mysterious tombs. We've uncovered the unseen secrets of the silent tomb of Lady Fu Hao, a woman of power and influence, her burial site revealing a rich tapestry of ancient Chinese culture and tradition. We've unearthed the musical mysteries of the tomb of Marquis Yi of Zheng, a testament to the grandeur of ancient music and the sophistication of ancient craftsmanship. We visited the tomb of the southern king, Nanyue King Zhao Mo. His tomb, a remarkable relic of the Han Dynasty, told stories of a time when southern China was a melting pot of different cultures. We then journeyed to the resting place of Empress Wu Zetian, the only woman who reigned as China's emperor, her tomb a silent witness to her historical reign. We stepped into the abode of Emperor Taizong of Tang, a mausoleum that reflected the might of one of China's most successful dynasties. We explored the grandeur of the Zhao Mausoleum, a testament to the power and influence of the Tang Dynasty. The Ding Tomb revealed to us the story of a dynasty that was on the brink of decline. The Tomb of Mawangdui, a time capsule, offered us a glimpse into the lifestyle of the Han Dynasty's elite. The Tomb of Emperor Jingdi gave us an insight into the life and reign of a ruler known for his benevolent rule. And finally, we visited the Mausoleum of the First Qin Emperor, a testament to the grandeur and ambition of the first emperor of a unified China. Each of these tombs gave us a unique insight into the lives, deaths, and afterlives of their inhabitants. They are more than just burial sites, they are time capsules preserving the stories, cultures, and histories of their times. Remember, history is all around us waiting to be discovered. Until next time, keep exploring. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. What tomb fascinated you the most?